Hey friends, this is Mrs. Wolfie from Life with the Wolfies with a tea break. I'm exhausted. I'm just exhausted. But it's a good kind of tired, you know, that you're getting stuff accomplished. And, you know, I actually got to sweep my kitchen floor this morning. I mean, things like that have been taking a back seat, like the floors. I got to still have to vacuum. But um, Howie went to the doctor today. And then he went to Tim Hortons and got himself a half calf coffee. Um, he is aware that he's not going to be able to drink coffee like he used to. Um, but he does, you know, he is taking back coffee. He's probably hiding in the coach right now, making one with his Keurig. <laughs> anyway, uh, the doctor said he's good to go back to work, um, at the end of next week. And he's waiting for the call from his cardiologist. And, uh, God be praised, you know. God, source of all, be praised. I am so grateful. Because, um, like I said before, this could have been a whole lot worse. This could have been a whole lot worse. I've, I've heard horror stories. Like somebody, somebody ta uh, in the comments said, you're lucky it worked. Um, the stent procedure, she said, when they tried to do the stent procedure for my husband, it tore, they tore his artery. And uh, <laughs> tore his artery and they had to crack his chest and do a bypass right there. So it's like, oh, you know, and then, you know, I hear stories from family members who go, oh, yeah, my buddy had stents put in, but he didn't listen. And he went, you know, he, he got too physical too early, like he, he was a construction worker, I guess, and got too physical too early and blew the stent, and it ended up getting lodged in his valve and tearing up the valve and it killed them before they could even get them into the hospital to repair it. So you hear these things. Now, I don't think Howie's been hearing these things, but I've been hearing these things. So I've been really extra cautious. You have a video coming out tomorrow. Uh, I made frozen yogurt and it was delicious. Howie wasn't too... F he liked it as a treat, but the uh, mango, pineapple, peach strawberry wasn't his first choice wouldn't have been his first choice but I wanted to get you know and besides it was the only bag of frozen fruit that was in chunks you know that wasn't just berries um, that I could get at the store so but it turned out really good the only difference is is when you put it in the freezer you can keep it for for weeks in the freezer but in order to make it scoopable, it has to go, you take, if, you know, say um, you're sitting down, you're, you're cooking dinner, take the frozen yogurt out of the freezer and put it in the fridge for the time it takes you to cook dinner. And then when you're ready for dessert, about two, three hours, right, it's, or, you know, about two hours later, it's scoopable. And then when you get what you want, you just put it back in the freezer. It's really good. Um, I gotta start pulling celery soon. I'm gonna put in another bed of kale because that's something I can spin. Um, I'm just gonna replant my kale bed and my spinach bed with kale because I don't have any spinach. Um, oh, I've been doing the stairs every day, every day because. The idea of how he doing the stairs because he did, and it and I just about, you know, lost my shit on him. But I said, Howie, honey, you have to let the stents heal. Any raise in your blood pressure could dislodge them, or any fast raise in your blood pressure could dislodge them before they heal, and that could kill you. Please don't fucking do the stairs again. Please don't do the stairs again. So I have been going down every night just before bed to empty the D because we have a dehumidifier that's wonky. Um, we'll get one, we'll get a new one in the spring. We'll get a new one in the spring, 
but for now it's it does the job but the problem is is it doesn't always shut off when it's full and it will overflow and it's done that several times so I've just made the habit of just going down there every night but the last thing I do before I go to bed after locking all the doors I go down and I empty the dehumidifier and it, yeah it's it's a it's a real pain in my ass and my knees and my back to go up and down those stairs but I'm gonna have to get used to it aren't I because I've been down in that living room and it's basically looks like somebody moved out and left a bunch of crap laying around so what I'm which is technically don't what's going on so I'm going to um, move the TV um, into the one of the bedrooms and because it's not a smart TV if it was a smart TV um, I would use it like my computer you know what I mean for when I'm live streaming um, I'll have to ask Howie about that if it's a smart TV or not anyway um, so I'm 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 making the habit of going up and uh, going up and down the stairs at least once a day so that now now I'm going to remember start to remember to take down like my green screen right that has to go down um, not necessarily my laptop or anything yet because I'm not doing anything down there until fall right because there's no way I'm going to be able to wear wigs and heavy makeup and and all that stuff and do the stairs um, when it's this hot out right last night was really 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 hot and uh, I went down to empty the dehumidifier and it was like I could feel the cool as I started to go down the stairs and then when I was coming back up the stairs it was like walking through a steam bath as you were coming up the stairs and I said to Howie oh god and he said if we were smart we'd be sleeping downstairs and I said yeah I said but you're more than welcome to if you want honey and he didn't say anything and then as I'm loading the dishwasher I went wait a second no you're not you're not doing the stairs and he said, I was waiting for that. <laughs> but I mean, so, you know, adjustments are coming in our life. How he's going to be doing less really heavy physical stuff. Like he just said to me, I feel better than I felt in years. And I said, well, don't take it for granted. Do the do things that keep you like this. Right? So, I mean, I'm still waiting for stuff to come in the mail. But it's August, which means I have a lot of canning and a lot of gardening still to do. And I am also um, we have steaks in the in the coach in the freezer. They should come in. Um, I'm all I also like I'm going to be doing canning and picking and then replanting and more dehydrating and it's almost carrot season. So I'm gonna be really 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 busy right but we're still gonna have our Thursday lives we're still gonna have our Sunday lives and I'm still gonna do the occasional video like for instance um, supper um, the stir fry and it was really quite steamed it wasn't really fried at all just the meat was um, that was for our half acre homestead but you guys are getting the froyo frozen yogurt homemade frozen yogurt video uh, tomorrow right so I mean I, I'm ba trying to balance my time and and when I just before I made this video I've been sitting editing a chapter for um, Anne's House of Dreams so I mean I'm I'm trying to pace myself but I'm actually doing more than I normally do because I can't leave things undone because of how he looks at them they irritate him and then he wants to do them and things like vacuuming and stuff are a no-no so as soon as I finish this tea break I'm gonna go and vacuum the rug and start pulling some celery and get some jars in the dishwasher this is Mrs. Wolfie from Life with the Wolfies saying fun times uh, coming I think I'm gonna order more strip lights because I would like a cloudscape downstairs 
you know, behind the green screen kind of thing. Or above it, like, like that, over there. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you to everyone who has been supporting us by uh, watching, re-watching all my old videos and letting the ads run and, and all that stuff. Um, that's the only thing that is keeping my worry down. I was able to, to uh, push some of our loans, uh, like the, our vehicle loans, I was able to push them a month. So I can breathe you know, knowing that um, that you guys have my back. That's so amazing. I love you. Take care. God bless. I'll see you Thursday. Mwah!